Sitting absolutely straight. So here's the way in which we sit. One heel in the perineum between genital and anal space. The other heel above the genital space. For a woman, this is called a Siddh Yoni Asan. Yoni means womb. And for a man, it's called a Siddh Asana. If you see most Buddha statues, they will be in this posture. If you find this very uncomfortable, the next option is this, Padmasana. Padmasana is more symbolic for meditation, but it's not the most effective as compared to Siddhasana. If you find both of these very difficult, then we choose Suktasana, comfortable seated posture. For modern people like us, it's very difficult because they're not used to sitting on the floor. And therefore, if you need to sit on a cushion, you can raise the hips in the first couple of years. Eventually, your hips and knees will be fine. Most of these postures were done by people from the age of 12, 13, 14, as the bones were sort of taking shape. If you're taking to it later on in life, you have to take care of your knee. Sitting absolutely straight. This is a better position yeah, so that you have structural support. Later on, after two, three years, when you have the strength, then you open out the palms. Till then, better to get the structural support. If your spine is leaning forward, the central nervous system is not functioning as should be. You keep that in mind. For the back straight, just take two deep breaths. Begin today's session. Here's how we're going to flow. We're going to start by warming up the body. It's important that you know what you're going to be doing, right? So that you're engaged, you're a participant, and you're not just being led through something. So the first thing that we do is we're going to start to energize with some breathing practices. Then we're going to loosen out the body. Then we're going to flow with the body to open out. Once we have done that, we'll start to train the strength of the body, core strength, back strength, and so on. Now, please note, there will be some things you're good at, some things you're not good at. Yeah? But what you're not good at, keep making a mental note. So over the next one month, you keep training that. If you don't have core strength, if you don't have stability, train it. If you don't have fluidity, train that. Once we've reached back to this posture, we'll train pranayama, breathing, and then meditativeness. Now, the entire process is designed so that the last 10 minutes we can sit still. If I ask you to sit still now, you're moving, you're shaking, the mind's all over the place. So for the next 1 hour, 15 minutes, the processes that we do will ensure that in the last 10 minutes, you have reached here. I'd like to introduce this idea to you. In the 1970s, Osho said that modern man is ill-equipped for static meditation. The modern mind is running too much. That's why you see people run, people dance. At some point, after 5-6 kilometers, the mind becomes stable and blank. So what classically was done as a posture, today is done through movement. Yeah? But eventually, Whatever you do, you will have to come to stillness, whatever system you choose. So while we move, we'll eventually come back here. So that's the process that we've set in place. Once we finish coming back here, whatever happens to you is meditation, not something that you uniquely do. If you're doing a technique, it's a technique, it's not meditation. You put the effort, the grace that happens to you is what we call meditation. Is 
that right? Let's begin our work with your hands in the namaste. Bring your awareness to your sankal, your resolution. Whatever is taking that in time. Feel, stretch your arm to expand your arm. Exhale, round your upper back. Inhale, stretch up, stretch torso. Exhale, opening out the shoulders, beginning to twist the spine, the entire central nervous system in the spine, twist. Other side, Pranayama is a cleansing technique that we take on with the eyes closed. If you have high BP, you do 10 and stop. Everybody else, this is the first energizing time. Inhale. And again, breathe in, hold your breath, stay. If you can hold your breath, you can hold a thought. We train to be able to hold the breath. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Coming up, stand. You can't really work on the nervous system by ignoring the gut. You got to do Agni Sar Kriya. Your hand work on the nervous system by ignoring the gut. You got to do Agni Sar Kriya. Your hands are here like this. Hands are here like this. Breathe in, blow out, and move your stomach in and out. Blow. And just move the stomach in and out. See to it that the stomach's moving in and out. If you can just come in a little closer, I'll just show you what I mean. I'll show you two things. Just come in closer. The first. Is just the stomach going in and out. That's fairly simple. Can you just try that right away? Breathe in, blow out. Just move the stomach in and out. that again blow out move the stomach once you get this strength in the digestive system you don't have to worry about the calories you're consuming all the time you got to focus on the system that's going to digest it (laughs) 
Stretch all the way down, drop backwards. Legs are just a bit wider. Drop back. Check if you can see the tree. You can see the floor behind. The other side. The elbows are not important, the knees have to be clear. Back. Those who can, building the ankles, the heads on the floor. Beautiful. Change, lunge. Knee down, put flat till the hip flexor opens out. Change. Look up, breathe out, look here. Finally, stretching into play. That's the idea. Focus will happen. Yoga, Hatha Yoga works like this. I work on the mind through the body. So just fixing the gaze will bring me into a state of focus. Slowing down the breathing will bring me to a state of focus. Knees. Throughout the class, the only one thing that we are training is focus. The flexibility, all of that is secondary. We're going to do Surya Namaskar or Sun Salutations. Come to the front of your mat. Okay, so have your legs close together. So just watch the round and then we are going to do 11 rounds together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, knee, chest, chin, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and back. We're going to do 11 of these rounds together. First, we chant Om Suryaya Namaha. Surya literally means giver of energy. Okay? Salutations to the giver of energy. So, Om Suryaya Namaha. Can I just request you to switch up the volume? Thank you. Of the music. So, together we chant Om Suryaya Namaha. Om Surya. Shall I do it once and then you'll do it after me and I'll make it shorter so that we don't run out of breath. Om Surya Namaha. Don't just say it like that. If you're saying it, do it with intent. Otherwise, don't do it. If, if it doesn't resonate with you, you can just sit, you can just be quiet. But if you're saying it, you're speaking to the sun for that loud, with that intention. Let's try that together. Om Surya Namaha. Very nice. The first round, inhale, stretch it up. Lock your ears, stretch the hands up. Nobody's neck goes beyond, behind the hands. 
Breathe out. Have your chin touch the chest. The chin must touch the chest. So the thyroid gland locks. The chin touching the chest. Breathe in. The right leg goes back. The first round, the right leg leads the way. So ensure that your, even if you were here, as you went back, the fingertips and toes are in one line. Yeah, the back knee is up, and you're looking up. So the back leg is much lower. The so arch spine. Breathe out. Santolan asan. This is a modern yoga posture we've included for core strength. Now from here, knees, chest, chin. Hips are in the air. Propel your body forwards. Elbows are slightly bent. The hip is on the floor. Feet are flat. Bhujangasana. Parvatasana. Inhale, right leg between your palms. Ashwasanchalan. Looking up, so this hip has to come lower, and then you are. Exhale, Padhastasana. Hasta Uttan, stretch all the way back. For the second round, exhale, Padhastasana. Second round, left leg leads the way, Ashwasanchalan. Wow. Santolan. Can you do this with me? So that your knee, chest, chin touch simultaneously. And then propel up into the jump. You create that wave. Parvatasana. Breathe in. Left leg. Ashwasanchalan. Padhasana. Asana. Hastutan. Padha. Breathe in. Right leg lead. Breathe out. Santolan. Drop. There's no breath. Breathe in. Cobra. Breathe out, mountain. Breathe in, right leg. Breathe out, bow. Breathe in, stretch up till the navel gets the stretch. We call Manipura Chakra. Exhale, stomach in, hamstrings are stretching. Inhale, left leg. Till the neck, Vishuddhi Chakra gets stimulation. So the back knee is up. The back knee. Santolan, strength. Tip. And then breathe in. The hip has to be on the floor. Parvat. Third eye, Agnya Chakra stimulation. Left leg in the front is the throat, Vishuddhi. Chakra. Exhale. Inhale one and up. Get the full stretch. Exhale. Stomach in. Chin on the chair. Inhale. Right leg. And looking up. Exhale. Together we do this. Dip. And straight away up into Cobra. Mountain. Breathe out both. We've got six more rounds to go. Inhale and up. Stretch the spine. Exhale and down. Inhale with the left leg back. Exhale both legs. Down, inhale, cobra. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, left leg 
one. Exhale four. Inhale and up. Exhale down. Inhale the right leg back. Exhale both legs. Sit down. Bujang. We want this precision because if I go up here, it's a great stretch for my spine, but there's nothing happening to that Swadhisthan chakra. In classical yoga, it's for the chakra stimulation that these postures were chosen. Inhale. If you come up here, bring the right leg in the front. If you leave your neck here, the Vishuddhi work is not happening. The precision is important. Exhale. Stomach in. Exhale, drop down. Left leg back. So remember the neck. Exhale, Santolan. So the hip has to be in the air. And then Bujang. Hip has to be on the floor. Parvat. Breathe in. Left leg in the front, breathe out, both the legs, breathe in, one and up, get the full range of that stretch, breathe out, down, touch your chin on your chest, breathe in, right leg, so do two more rounds by yourself, and then we'll do the last together. We'll do the last song together. We're back up here. So now we are going to flow into certain poses, vinyasa. Vinyasa means you're going from posture to posture without a break in between. So what you did just now, Surya Namaskar, is the classical vinyasa. In modern yoga, we make a lot of variations from there. And those variations is called a vinyasa flow. Right? Let's do that together. About 80% of modern yoga classes are vinyasa driven. So we meet you at where your mind is. And then we come to stillness. That's the job of a vinyasa. So let's start here. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, take your right leg back, take your right hand outside of the left knee, bring the left hand into a namaste. Those of you who are very flexible, take the left hand around and hold the right wrist. We make a bind. If you're not able to hold, it's fine. Stay in a namaste. Now fix your eyes over the left shoulder at a point. That's your drishti. Breathe in. Breathe out. But four more breaths to go. This is Ujjayi Pranayam. Back knee is straighter. Two breaths. One. Take your left hand outside the left ankle. Flatten the right foot. Straighten the left knee. With the right hand, open the hip and if that helps you.
last breath. Bend the left knee. Bring the left hand inside of the left leg, holding the right wrist at the back. Wow. Opening out the right shoulder, fully open. Once you fix your gaze on the top, breathe in, three, breathe out, hip up half an inch, two, breathe out, one, breathe out, Ashwa Sanchalan, Santolan. So we are still in the Surya Namaskar. Now, here, Chaturanga Dandasana, just this month. Urdhva Mukta, Swanasana, Up Dog, Parvatasana. One breath. Inhale, the right leg in the front. Bring the left hand outside of the right knee. Into a namaste. Those who are very, very comfortable can come around and hold the wrist. The drishti is fixed. The eyes are fixed. Hip up half an inch, back knee straight. Don't let your body fall down. Three breaths. Two breaths. One. Release the pop. The right hand on the floor, stretch the right knee. Open out the left hip and take the left hand up. Looking at a point for four more breaths. Three more breaths. Little more open. Wow. Exhale. Right knee bends. The right hand has come inside. Holding the left wrist. From there, hip up half an inch. The hamstring strength. Good, good. So looking up, looking up. Over the left shoulder. The breath. Little more opening up. One. And back here. Fantastic. Surya Namaskar doesn't have any twist. So that's why we did that first. Santolan. And now. Chaturang Urdhva Mukhswanasan Up Dog. So we have finished one sequence. We'll do a few such sequences. Parvat. From here now, take the right leg up in the air. Bend the right knee, getting the right kneecap to face the ceiling. Take the right foot behind, across, on the floor. Straighten your knees. Take the right hand up. Have your chest face the ceiling. Hip up. Expressing the hip back. Last breath. Exhale. Come back. 
the leg was in the air it comes down to parvat asana take a breath inhale take the left leg up in the air bend the knee have the knee cap face the ceiling so please open up your hip and now take the left leg onto the floor straighten out the knees the chest faces the ceiling the navel faces the ceiling so to push your hip up so that is just push your hip up to move breath ujjayi pranayam one slowly coming back to parvat the leg was in the air it comes down to parvat and take a breather inhale right leg up again that's it up and this time bring your right leg here between the left palm and left foot straight the left hand comes up open out the chest open out your hips start to express the chest the last breath little higher and back into leg was up and comes into parvat breathe in. take your left leg up in the air take the left leg here between the right palm and chest and right foot right hand comes up start to push your hips up beautiful so just stay there let the left hand get stronger two more breath and come back left leg was up come back down take a breather in parvat asana in chaturang up to so the knees are off the ground parvat virabhadra tu Deep breath, little lower. Two breaths. So the eyes are fixed. The strength is coming from your focus. Exhale. Hands here. Come up. Stretch the back leg back. Fantastic. The eyes are fixed at the point. The hands are six inches apart. Three breaths. Two breaths. Stretch a bit more. Breathe in. As you breathe out, take the left hand on the floor. Open out the right hand up. You've done a twist. Deep breath. Trying to look up. Back leg higher. Paripritta Ardha Chandra Sun. Santo Lan. Chaturang. 
ஊர்வமோ இருக்கும் பர்வத் Within, bring the left leg between your palms. Back foot flatten. Virabhadra two. Three deep breaths. Please ensure that your arms Little lower and change. Bring the back leg a little closer, stretch your hand and go straight out. Veerabhadra too. See that the back leg is a bit higher. Deep breath. right hand on the floor opening out the thigh raise the back leg up three two urdhvamo parvat and just take five slow breaths in parvat to get your heart rate back to normal to breath Inhale. Take your right leg up in the air. Bring your right knee here, across to the left elbow. Back up, elbow. Keep it above the elbow. bend down back up take it all the way back and bring the right knee to your chin the core strength it should touch your chin drop the knee here Just the right hand up. The back. Take just the left hand up. Back. If your back is fine, take both the hands up. Kapota, sit rigid, and then slowly start to come back. Onto your elbows. Now do this. Just move your right leg a little out. For two breaths. पर्वत Touch your chin. 
to you. Take the left hand up. Exhale. Take the right hand up. Exhale. Both the hands up. And then drop down. Move the leg out a little. Then drop down fully. Coming up into Parvat Tasar. Bring your chin here and just do this Chaturang for three, two, back up the sun pole. Bring your right leg in front, left leg in front, just sit here, for three, two, and here, drop down. Raise your leg. Your thighs are still working. And stretch. Five. Beautiful. So the eyes are fixed. Your strength is a function of your focus. Not really muscle. Four, three. Two breaths. One, take your legs to the left, hands to the right for five. Beautiful. Four. A little lower. Three, a little pure four strength. Two. Four. A little lower. Three. Two, one, yeah. Stretch the spine. Bring the right leg out. Bring the, the left leg out. Bring the right knee like this. If you have no pain in your knee, or ankle. If you have pain, just stretch the spine. Stretch the toes out. And as you stretch the toes out, come to your heel. Yeah. See that the glute, the left glute is out. And now just drop down. And stick for five breaths. Pushing your tailbone back. that the right glute is out. Breathe in. Drop down. Keep 
Both the legs go back. You're sitting on the mat. The feet are apart. Supta Virasana. Lying down. Hero. So take the feet out. Drop back. If there's no pain, if you're comfortable, go all the way back. Hold your elbows. Most relaxing asana, the most relaxing stretch for the thigh. Whenever you feel like you want to give up, just slow down the breath. It's a great posture to be able to manage your mind by just slowing down the breath. Last two breaths. sitting here bring your right leg here right heel to the navel bend your left leg pushing the toes out if you find it tough to hold the foot you can also hold the ankle once your eyes fix you can even close your eyes You've got your balance and just breathe in and out. Three, two, open out the spine. Change the leg. Left leg comes here. Knee bends. Push the toes out. So fix your gaze, your drishti. To breath, straighten the spine, change, legs out, drop back and come up. Once you're there, just close your eyes and stay. Seven slow breaths. Exhale and slowly touch. If you're not touching the flow, keep holding your hips. If you're touching the flow, interlock your fingers, keep it on flow. Thanks. 
Marcelo Tambá, Ana Leonise, Anya, prop up on your elbows. Once you prop up on your elbow, put the crown of your head on the floor. And from there, lie down in Shavasan. Do this. Put the right knee to your chest, completely relaxing your back. Right foot on the left knee. With the left hand, take the knee across the body to touch the floor. Look towards the right and beyond. In the back. Bring the left knee to your chest. Bring the left foot to the right knee and twist. Okay. The last thing to do, both the knees to the chest. And lie down in Shavasana. For the next two minutes, just watching your breathing. You don't have to change anything. As you become observant, your breathing will automatically get slower and more rhythmic. Last five deep breaths. Beginning to move your fingers, toes, starting to stretch the body. Turning to one side.
And then, coming up with this. So that if we relax too much there, the lungs won't be able to cope with pranayama. We want to relax in this posture. Siddhasana. So your ultimate relaxation should happen here. So we've done all the movements, we've done all the training just for this. Just take half a minute, get comfortable here before we do pranayama. If you notice, the postures we have done has made you silent. There's no effort required for your mind to control itself. You've become silent already. With the right hand, the first two fingers draw in. Block the right nostril. The ring finger on the forehead center. We are doing Anulom Bilom or Nadi Shodhana Pranayam. Inhale to the left. Close both the nostrils. Hold the breath for double the time. Take the thumb to the forehead. Exhale to the right for double the inhalation time. In right, close the nostrils, double the time. Out left. Second round, left in Pura, hold Kumba, outright Recha, keep your back straight please. In right, Pura, hold Kumba, exhale, reach up. Third down, Pura. Recha. Pura. Kumba. Recha. Last round by yourself.
अनेक फ्रैक्चर महा बंद बंद मीन द लॉक विद योर पाम ऑन योर नीज ब्रीद इन ब्लो आउट without taking in a breath contract the pelvic flow up stomach in chin on the chest chin down breathe in blow out without taking a breath no breathing no breath in the body Chin release, stomach release, inner lock release. The last time, blow out, pelvic, navel, chin. Try and hold for twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Chin release, stomach release, inner space release. This is ensure that the prana is in the final area. Now we do Om chanting. Ah, U, M. If you are very sensitive, you will realize that Ah is the vibration when the awareness is in the navel area. We call this as Brahm Granthi, the blockage. You want to break it. U is when the sound is here. Call it Vishnu Granthi. And E is the sound. The awareness is here. We call it. Let's do that together. Just three times. Inhale. So we 
visualize a white light up the spine, eyebrow center. Oh, white light down the spine, face chakra. Ten, so white light, third eye. Continue counting six to zero. If you lose your count, start again at ten whenever you remember. In case you complete your count, after that, start to listen to the river.
the last three breaths, focusing on your thumb toes, resolve. the month of April, whatever it is you feel, something valuable you want to pursue, make that into your resolution, especially since you come here to do a course, do something that you feel even 50 years from now will be valuable to you the time you've spent here. When it comes to choosing resolution, there's a, there's a story that I read many years ago and had a huge impact on me. It speaks of a master who is working with his students and he reaches up to a river. And as soon as he reaches up to the river, he's intending to cross the river. So at that point, a man comes up to him and says, Master, what can you do? What miracle can you show me? So the master doesn't really bother. He continues walking. The man again says, you know, <laughs> I've trained 20 years to walk in water. Can you do this? What can you do? So the man who took 20 years of your life to train cost me one rupee in the boat. <laughs> so please choose your sangha wisely and dedicate time to something that will be worthwhile. With that in mind, thank you, Ravya. <laughs> Taking the warmth to your eyes. Namaste.